Emotions, emotions, emotions. So in this video, I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over this video that happened in my city where I grew up in. Fort Lauderdale, where we see a lot of people get emotional and somebody's life can be lost. Fortunately, this didn't happen in this video that I'm going to go over. I'm also going to go over what Charleston White is saying about how the black community operates. Okay, with each other. Let me play this quick video, then I'm going to go over the... um. The video where a man almost lost his life and a man almost took another man's life. It's just sad, but we got to go over stuff like this to understand. We got to be able to check our emotions, man. Sometimes in the community, in the hood, our people can be so emotional, ready to make a decision that's going to change their life for nothing. Okay, I'm going to go over that, but... Check out what Charleston White says about, uh, he made a good point where he brought up uh, how our community is as far as when we're dealing with each other versus when we're dealing with when somebody else is dealing with us. Check this out. Man, we watched, and I'm going to bring this up, homie. We watched FBG Duck get killed in broad daylight in a upper affluence area yeah. of Chicago. Yeah. Crazy. We watched Mo3 get gunned down on the highway. Yeah, Why would we such as mad as watching these five cops kill this nigga? It's no different. You're right. I'm so desensitized to black people killing black people. I don't give a damn about them five cops killing that nigga. Man, it hurt me to see kids die. There was a seven-year-old kid killed in Lennox Mall for Christmas, man. It was no outrage. It was a, 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 a seven or eight year old baby in Chicago. Four guys got out of a car and shot at her dad while they was in the drive through and killed the baby. Why they don't have the same outrage, homie? Why is it just when it's the criminal black guy that gets killed by the police, the media give us this nigga to be mad about? So, and that brings me to my point, okay? Cause I'm gonna go over this video, and um, we need to be able to hold each other accountable for being emotional. You know, um, we live in a time now where these people that you know that are loud, emotional, and make rational decisions off of anger, they're they're not they're not the people that you want to be around. Because these people probably going to put you in harm's way. And it's sad to say that, but, you know, this is what's in the community. So when you guys step out, I remember my homeboy told me one time. He said, man, if if somebody, he was, he was at a club one time and he seen somebody get hit in the head with a bar. Boom, knocked him out. And it was a little melee. And he he told everybody in the hood, we was all together watching the Super Bowl. He said, hey, man, if anybody ever hit me in the head with a bottle, don't worry about me and my well-being. Go get him. And I had to let that digest for a minute. And I'm like, man, can you imagine somebody else getting into some beef? And now this is somebody that you love, you, you know. You grew up with from the mud and now you have to act on violence with somebody and this is the trauma that's in our community it's like everything is about if this happened black people are already prepared if something happened what they're gonna do they're already on go before they even get to the club these conversations is already being said before they even start partying these are the side conversations that's happening in the hood. You know, once they see something else happen, they already prepping everybody else. So everybody know how to move when something go down. So now I'm going to show this. Um, I'm going to show this video in my city. Okay. It was a car show on Easter, right? Now, sad as this is, right? This was a car show, and this could have been easily dismissed. Well, it didn't have to get to this, right? 
but I'm gonna play. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop a little bit and give my commentary. But check this. <laughs> now, this guy just hit. Get in the guys. Everything seems cool. They talking about it. You know they do. That's the that's the that's the girl. Everything seems cool. You even see the guy smile, right? The problem is is the emotion. Get somebody call. Well, it looks like he's giving him his ID, he's showing him his license, showing him his registration. I mean, his, his insurance card. Check this. So, out of nowhere. And see one thing about a lot of the other Brad County, when uh when men get mad, they call you po po ass nigga. That's that's when you know when you hear words like that, you gotta be alarmed that somebody probably gonna shoot, something's going down. Now the guy who is outside the car, he matches his energy. Okay, instead of de-escalating the situation, this is what our community we scared to just de-escalate a situation you should have de-escalated but he didn't he tried to match his energy and look Yo, what fuck, happened nigga. Fuck, nigga. You talking crazy, nigga. he goes to put his hand in his face all of this is about a dent in a car where the insurance could take care of this now we now we into some whole other situation now check this out now he goes to tell this guy to hold on i'm gonna come back this is this is some of the the emotional behaviors that we got to go through and you got to be aware when you're hanging out in a community of people like this they ready to get emotional now this guy says hold on He go to his car. Now the driver runs this guy over. This guy's on the front of his hood. He stops, he falls off the car. Now I'm thinking the driver is probably like, hey man, you told me to hold on. I gotta tell you to hold on. Because I don't know what you doing. You came back around the car and what you think I'm just gonna let you walk up on me and, and start violence? So he probably did what's best is protecting himself. But this guy could have died. Number one, you could have ran this man over and killed this man. That would have been a murder charge. It, it's just. Luckily, this man is he okay. Now she got a gun in her hand. He said you should have busted. So, do how many times do we see? people get into a car accident and they just on the side of the road the police come they go about their business insurance get exchanged everything is good when we dealing with our community this can a, a dent in a car you hitting somebody car can turn violent for no reason at all and he telling her man you should have bust that right so <laughs> Luckily, he's able to walk away. But this is what I'm talking about. It could have been somebody else walking in front of him. You know, walking he, he in front of the car before he him. He just dragging on the car and got off. He could have got hit and ran over and died. Well, she got his dad to whistle. They're going to get him. What the freak? So more to the story is the community is dangerous.
okay? It's dangerous to hang out in the community. It's dangerous to be at these hangout spots because you got emotional people that's ready to make emotional decisions, okay? So um, I think that's the only thing that can stop us right now is no emotional decisions, you know, If it ain't out the country, I don't really want to hang around a bunch of y'all, man. If I see a lot of eyelashes and stuff there, I ain't going to be there. Because I already know the mentality of how everybody is around there. It's just their own point to try to, if anything happened to them, they ready to do something to somebody. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. How can we de-escalate? How can we teach our culture to de-escalate situations that don't have to be? Appreciate it. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, keep me on the algorithm. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace and love. Make sure you get your free water test at Envirely.com. Here we got Mr. Pollock. He had a cornfield. He took advantage of a free water test from us. And this is what we found in this water. We found sulfur. We found hardness. And we solved these problems with an easy fix of two tanks. So get your free water test today. Stay blessed. Click the link below.